Well, hell well. Look who it is. How have you been? Uh, I must have misheard you. I thought you asked me to help you trap a dragon in my palace. I want to help you, Dragonborn. And I will. But I need your help first. Ulfric and General Tullius are both just waiting for me to make a wrong move. Do then I would be glad to help you with your mad dragon trapping scheme, but getting both sides to agree to a truce will be difficult at this point. If the Greybeards were willing to host a peace council, then maybe Ulfric and Tullius would have to listen. Farewell, kinsman. You misunderstand our authority. The Greybeards have never involved themselves in political affairs. I see. The dragon will lead you to Aldwin, but without the Jarl's help. Parthenax has made the decision to help you. This is the road we have to walk. Even the Greybeards must bend to the winds of change, it seems. So be it. Tell Ulfric and General Tullius that the Greybeards wish to speak to them. We will see if they still remember us. Wind, guide you. is putting a great deal of pressure on White Run. And what would you have me do? If he's not with us, he's against us. He knows that. They all know that. Only the foolish or the courageous approach a Jarl without summons. What do they want? I have the greatest respect for the Greybeards, of course. And the dragon attacks are a growing plague. But... The political situation is still delicate. Alduin, the world eater of song and legend. If that's true, well, it changes the situation, doesn't it? Even Tullius may be forced to talk sense in the face of such a threat. Yes, I'll give Tullius one more chance to blitz Skyrim with his tail between his legs. You think I need to send Bolgraf a stronger message? If by message you mean shoving a sword through his gullet, I'm telling you, I remember you. You were at Helgen. The Greybeards. What do those old hermits want with me? Why, there's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against his rightful Emperor. They are getting to be a problem. Yes, yes, fine, I'll come to this Greybeard Council. For all the good it will do. He'd be insane to try. He doesn't have the men. That's not what my scouts report, sir. 
Every day more join his cause. Riften, Dawnstar, and Winterhold support him. It's not a cause. It's a rebellion. Call it whatever you like, General. The man's going to try to take White Moon. General Baldruf. Baldruf refuses the Legion's right to garrison troops in his city. On the other hand, he also refuses to acknowledge Ulfric's claim. Well, if he wants to stand outside the protection of the Empire, fine. Then Ulfric pillages city. General. This will clear up soon. I'm sure of it. Done it. The men of violence are gathered here, in these halls whose very stones are dedicated to peace. I should not have agreed to host this council. The Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. Yes, yes. Which is why I allowed this violation of all our traditions. But regrets are pointless. Here we are. Take your seat at the council table, and let us see what wisdom we can find among these warriors of Skyrim. Take your seat, and we can begin. Now that everyone is here, please take your seats, so we can begin. I hope that we have all come here no. in the spirit you of... you insult us by bringing her to this negotiation? Your chief Talos Hunter? That didn't take long. Here, here. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please, if we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. By Izmir's beard, the nerve of those Imperial bastards, eh? To think that I would sit down at the same table with that. Thou more bitch, either she walks or I do. I'm glad we agree on this. Very well, Ulfric. Enjoy your petty victory. The Thalmor will treat with whatever government rules Skyrim. We would not think of interfering in your civil war. Ha! Skyrim will never bow to the Thalmor. Unlike your Imperial friends here. You're lucky I respect the Greybeard's council, Galmar. Legate, we represent the Emperor here. Sorry, sir. It won't happen again. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? I have something to say first. Here we go. The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the Dragon Menace. There's nothing else to talk about. 
unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't We're be able to We're here to resist. arrange a temporary truce to allow the Dragonborn here to deal with the dragons, nothing more. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? Yes, let's get this over with. Are we ready to proceed? Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, this council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar. Do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiations? Yes, let's get down to it. We want control of Markar. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. Come on, Dalmar. We have a lot of work to do. Giving up Markarth is a heavy price for this truce, Dragonborn. I hope it was worth it. Jarl Balgruf, I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn plan? Yes, I'm ready to do my part. Just say the word, and my men will help you spring this trap. But the difficulty remains, how to lure a dragon to Dragon's Reach at all? I believe I've identified one of the dragons that all can Ah, don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power. Shouts. By calling the dragon with a voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon after your victory over Aldrin. I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. Ah, indeed. I'm no master of the voice, like these worthy gentlemen. But it is written here, in the scroll. Lord Arthur, winged snow hunter, as I read it. I hope this truce gives you what you need. It won't last. There's one more thing. We know about Parthenax. He deserves to die, and it falls to you to kill him, until he's dead. Well, I'm sorry, but we would dishonor our oaths as blades if we continue to help you. You did well here today. I don't think the truce will last long, but that will not be on your account. Now you see why I've warned you against them, bloodthirsty barbarians. Yes, but understand, during the days of Aldwin's rule, all dragons were his allies. There was nothing else they could be. If not for Parthenax, Aldwin could not have been overthrown. It was he that first taught men to use the Thum. Kinnereth has placed the voice of wisdom within you, Dragonborn. All you need do is learn to listen to it, and your path will be clear. Wind, guide you. The Blades are wise not to trust me. Oni Khan Miov. I would not trust another Dova. I have overcome my nature only through meditation and long study of the way of the voice. No day goes by where I am not tempted to return to my inborn nature. Zingrif Horvut. Say Suyek. What is better, to be born good or to overcome your evil nature through great effort? Sum Ark Mora.
Make your choice, Dragonborn. You're either with us or against us. I would ask for a pint or two. What of it? These secret visits to the tavern will make you an easy target for an enemy assassin. You should have told me first. Damn it, woman. I'm the Jarl of Whiterun. I won't apologize for talking to my people. We're ready, Dragonborn. So. Just That's say fine. the word. As I promised, my men stand ready. The great chains are oiled. We wait on your My men know what to do. Make sure you do your part. I'm putting my city in your hands. We're ready when you are. Undercover until it's down. Alduin, hmm? No doubt you want to know where to find Alduin. He has traveled to Sovngarde to regain his strength, devouring the Silesur, the souls of the mortal dead, a privilege he jealously guards. His door to Sovngarde is at Skaldafin, one of his ancient fanes high in the eastern mountains. Alduin has proven himself unworthy to rule. I go my own way now. Free me, and I will carry you to Skaldafin. Was <laughs> new? Dini dein Rufe Astwal. Saran Uth, I await your command as promised. Are you ready to see the world as only a Dova can? Zukbrit Uth, I warn you once you've flown the skies of Kaisal. Your envy of the Dolph would only increase. 
Amativ. Mubokotin Stinselok. This is as far as I can take you. Griffoth Akrin. I will look for your return. Or Alduin's. <laughs> <laughs>